All right, so next here we're going to re um, talk about our surface finish symbols here. Um, you can see this symbol right here, this little check mark in the 32. If I go to my dimension stand dimensioning standard for this course here, page 19, talks about the surface texture or surface finish. Um, these little X's are going to represent a number. Uh, our numbers here are these finishes, 8, 16, 32, and so on. In this course, we'll focus on 16 and 32. Um, and the finish symbol is always on the surface here. This is like the roughness, the edge of the, edge of the surface. What does it look like? Um, notice here, okay, on the check mark here that you have, um, it's one eighth up here on the side, a quarter inch, a quarter inch up on this side, and 60 degree angles, 60 degree angles. So how we're going to create this here back on AutoCAD, um, and let me open this up here, and we go one more over to this one. And you can see this little check mark in 32. I'm going to recreate another one. Um, so how this is done, uh, I'm going to start with the line tool, so L for line. And I'm going to draw simply a straight up and down line. And okay, one line straight up and down. You can do that by having your ortho mode on. Then I'm going to rotate this line, RO for rotate. And then select the object. Uh, select the a base point here. So I'm going to turn my ortho mode on so I can select that base point. And I'm going to go 30 degrees, like so. And then I'm going to mirror this, MI for mirror, going across here and select it and then select the base point again and voila oh, need to make sure i don't delete that there so mirror this here select the base point straight up and then no i don't want to erase the source objects and then i'm going to draw a line straight across here so from here you click there and drag it all the way across there so now i have a line going all the way across and i'm going to object snap or i'm going to offset this here by 0.125 or an eighth of an inch here. So first up and then one more time up. Then I'm going to trim it. So TR for trim, 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 trim this out. And I'm trying to get my check mark, which you see right there. The cool thing about what we're creating here is we can use this on multiple drawings. Once I created it once, I don't have to create it again. Uh, we can copy it over to other drawings. Then uh, I'm going to come up here to text. And just do single line text here and click, click, and then XX, like so. Click to the side, escape. Um, I can move this around here because I want it somewhere to write down right about right there. Um, and this doesn't matter exactly where it's at yet. Then I'm going to take my text here. Um, we're going to create a block. So up here uh, under block, it's the fourth, fifth thing over on the top bar. And I'm going to go over to where it says define attributes here. And I've selected my double X there. And simply XX, XX, XX for tag, prompt, and default. And we're going to also center justify this here and leave annotated on. Everything else is okay for now on here. And then you can see I create a new one. And I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to move this one over to that area. Notice this is center justified here. So hopefully I can move it over. And then I'm going to move it over this way too. And we'll get right, right about there. Right above that little check mark. Perfect. Now I'm going to select all three of these things here. Together here. And I'm going to go up to my block area here. And I'm going to create a block definition from the selected objects. This here I am going to name surface finish symbol, notice this in capital, just so I can see a better surface finish symbol, surface, sorry, finish symbol, and this is going to be 3, 4.0 for me, because I've created a bunch of these so far. Uh, on screen, we don't need to do anything else on here, inches, click OK. And once that's done, now the cool thing, if I escape out of here, and I double click on this X, you'll see uh, a define attribute, attri okay. I guess, We'll save that here. Let's see if it popped up here. So incent, and let's see if my surface finish will finish symbol popped up up there. It did not. So let's try that one more time here. Okay, I'm going to select all three of these things here. Not sure what happened there. I want to uh, create. Okay, create a new one, and then surface. This happened once before too. Surface finish symbol 4.0. And then I'm going to click OK, and we'll see what happens here. I think, I think we should be good. 
Let's see. Oh, am I? Yep. Oh, it just took it just took a long time to come in there. But service finishes finish symbol 4.0, and I'm in changes to 32. The well, computer is just lagging a little bit. That's what's going on there. You can see all this is one there. And then I can simply, I can drag this over to here if I need to. So I'm going to delete this one here. So I'm going to delete, I'm going to delete these couple ones right here. So that one, that one, those are gone. Okay. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to my blocks. So where it says inside here, and I'm looking for my 4.0. And let's just double check that all, I believe it's going to be this one here, 4.0. And then I'm going to click drag, and I want to drag this one down here if I'm looking at my document. Um, I have my nearest on. You can shift right click and turn your nearest on again to if you want to. But nearest command, and here, this is going to be 32. Click OK. Um, and for some reason, it didn't pop down there, so let's just move it down to that line there. And let's try another one here. Let's make sure that's going correctly here. Surface finish symbol. And it looks like my check mark is off here, but that's okay. I can just move things around here. This would be 32. Click OK. And then I can use my move command, move it on that point here, and I can move it down to this point here, where I already have one. Uh, but you have one here, you have one here, and then your last one is going to be on your layout view up here. And you're going to have one that is 16 up, up top there. And I could actually move this over. I'm going to do that right now, but I'm going to move this over to like right. If I can find shift right click, I want midpoint of that line. Let's see if it does it for me. I'm just going to move it right there. Just the midpoint. All right. Um, well, we have one more video here. We're going to talk about our uh, section line going across, and then we'll be able to plot this.